speaker is Alec, and Alec joined Toastmasters in 2008. He is currently working on his Advanced Communicator Goal designation, and he works with Eastern Health. And in his spare time, he enjoys photography, ballroom dancing, hiking, poker, and chess. He has, he has been the president of the Newfoundland and Labrador Chess Association since 1996, and he has been an advocate in chess promotion in Newfoundland and Labrador school systems for a very long time. And his philosophy in life is to live life positively and always strive for the best. And his ABC motto for life is always be active, always believe in yourself, and always believe in commitment. Mike has been a great promoter of our club and has encouraged all of us, all members, to participate in outside activities as well. And just uh, the year before last, I participated in Shed Valley. And Shed Valley is a program for gifted students. And Alec often organizes, help organize that group. And it was an amazing experience for me. And um, one that I won't soon forget. And thank you for that, Alec. And Alec's speak, speech tonight is why we come to Toastmasters. So why we come to Toastmasters, Alec Suey. Thank you, Edith. I didn't write her that bio. She <laughs> came up with that. Thank you. Tonight, 20 year anniversary. So why do we come to Toastmasters? I ask you. Why not? Well, you know why we come here? To learn public speaking. But let me tell you, there are other fringe benefits you can get from coming to Toastmasters. First, is Uh, where is... Okay, anyway, Donna is here. She mentioned we got the price. It's only, what, 40 bucks for six months? It worked out less than $2.50 per session. I mean, during the session, you get jokes, you get quizzes, you get informative sessions, you get stories. You get the best of all, you got free coffee and food. For two bucks, you can't get anywhere for that price. So that's the first fringe benefit. For the second one, everyone comes here wants to move up your corporate ladder. You want to promote it. You want to get a better salary scale. And by doing Toastmaster, in fact, you're on that road. Because by doing that, you know how to time manage yourself. You know how to do your interview, how to communicate with your colleagues your bosses internally and externally. Without knowing it, you will consistently come into Toastmaster who will move you up the corporate ladder or get you a much better job. And thirdly, by coming to Toastmaster, you learn a lot of things. Because look at you guys here. You have a teacher, retired teacher, you have professional speakers, you have lawyers, you have doctors, you have business owners, you have all walks of life. When you want to do well, you want to make connections. You want to build networking. And this is the place where you can meet all kinds of people and build up your network. Now, talking about the three benefits, the next thing I'm going to talk about is simple things I talked many times before. How would you improve your speaking publicly? Two ways. I improve myself is by learning from myself. How? Always, always use your camera. A lot of good speakers, brands, and Lee, Lee is not here. They use a lot of cameras. I did at one time, I used the camera and record all my speeches. By reviewing them, you'll be amazed at the mistake you made. Honestly, tonight I look at my speech, I have to redo it again next time. The second thing is to 
write the comment cards to your colleague, to the people who speak. If you spoke before, you must remember, I love to receive those little comment cards. The more, the better. 90% of the cards probably will have good comments, but you always, always be able to find one or two comments that you really, really treasure. But that comment will lead you into the next step in your public speaking. So remember, apart from learning yourself, by writing those cards, you can help others and help me to become a better speaker. Now, how much have I learned from this talk? There are many things I learned. I have to name a few here. First, I learned from Rosalind. She's close to me. She's a teacher. She was a teacher, and she will always be a good teacher. I learned so much from this young lady here. When she speaks, she's into the character. I witnessed a lot of her speeches. She hardly, hardly used any notes. Why? Because she's always well prepared. She was always into the character of her speeches. When she speaks, she was totally involved with expressions, the body language, the eye contact, the vocal variety. It's amazingly vivid. Tell people because you will listen when she speaks. This is because when she speaks so well, she's speaking from her heart. And this is how I learned. When you speak from your heart, there's nothing can go wrong. And how many times has she won best speeches? Can't lost count because she always speaks from your heart and this is why people vote to her. Second person, Brent Bashara. He's another great teacher I learned from him. He just doesn't teach our public speaking. He shows us how to be a good speaker. First time I've seen someone using a lot of props would be from brands. He brought with him musical instruments, external stuff to help us to get more involved with the fourth dimension in public speaking. He always has a camera too. And every time I see him, he's so prepared. He's very knowledgeable, and this shows me that he always does his homework. So when you're knowledgeable and you are well prepared, you can't go wrong. And I still remember at one time he used a gong. <laughs> I remember the moment until now. So he's always one of my best teachers, I remember. The third one I want to talk about from our club would be Lee Haywood. He's not here tonight. But I'm sure someone would tell him I mentioned his name. <laughs> when he teaches, I always listen. He said it's a good experience to go skydiving, and I listened. So I went away and did the skydiving. And he taught me how to make a speech to be humorous. The one step, the one thing, most important thing I learned from him is when you make a speech humorous, make sure we have enough pauses. The mistake I used to have was cut off the laugh and kept going. You have to keep the train running to a stop. Don't step on the brake when the train is running. If you have a good speech, people laugh, let them laugh. Then you continue when the laugh subsides. So I always learn from him. These are the three people that I can say to you now, but I can see like here, Kevin. Joe is another mentor. I always look forward to hearing your speeches. Joe was the first one that brought me to Toastmasters. And the second one was Paul White. I always remember them. So coming to Toastmasters is not just helping yourself. It's also for you to give back, to help people like newcomers to become one of the best speakers that you and I can be proud of. To sum up, Toastmasters it's a very enjoyable activity. You just don't learn. You have fun. You give back. And sometimes when it's fun, then just like the quote was saying, learning is just easy and comes naturally when you are in a moment of enjoyment. Thank you.